Hey guys, I'm back and today I filmed for you my brow tutorial using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. Um, I received this a couple of days ago or a couple weeks ago and I haven't been using anything else but this lately. I really, really like this. I haven't used a pencil for my brows in such a long time. I'm always using my dip brow or a powder. So this was such a nice refreshing change to really use something different. And I actually really, really like it. I feel like the powder and pomade can sort of look a little bit harsh at times and sort of fake. Not so much powder. I actually really like a powder through the brow, but sometimes a pomade, if you're too heavy-handed, it could look really drawn on. But I actually really like the pencil. I feel like because it's a pencil and the formula of the pencil sort of looks like it's more realistic. It gives you that sort of hair look. I don't know if that makes sense, but... I really like this <laughs> and yeah I'm in the shade medium brown and this side has a spoolie which I actually really 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 like this side of the spoolie I know the um, other brow pencils the brow whiz has a much thinner spoolie and I actually wasn't a fan of that one but I really really like this one and then this is the product it's flat and it has sort of a peak but it's a little triangle shape. So it's really cool because you can definitely get different widths with the pencil. So I don't know if I could really show you, but if you do it flat, you could get a flat sort of line. And then you could get a straight line or you could get a really thin line. So I think that's really awesome that you get three different widths with just one pencil. And they're $23, I think, because most of the brow stuff are $23. So yeah, if you guys want to stick around and see how I filled in my brows, then just keep watching. So this is my brow um, not filled in or anything. There's no product through it. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of sparseness right here. Some of the hairs don't grow through for some reason, and especially my arch towards my tail doesn't go through. And then my tail's like getting a little funky funky. I don't know. My brows go through these stages where like the hairs will be really weird. So thank God for eyebrow products so I can fill them in. <laughs> so today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills new brow definer. And I'm using medium brown. So I'm going to start off by using the spoolie end and then I'm just going to brush my brows because I like to do this before just in case there's any product or foundation that got in there while I was applying my foundation or powder or anything. So I like to just brush them through first. So all I'm going to do is I just rolled it up a little bit and then I'm going to start filling in the bottom. All I do is just line the bottom of my brow and then I connect it to the tail. And now this is the part where I really like to transform my brow. It's not going to really look as different. It's just going to really accentuate my arch and make my eyebrow look a little bit more arched compared to what it is right now. So I start about right here. And then I'll start. I like to use a really light hand at first. Then when I get towards the end... I like to round it out and then I'm creating that little arch and then I'll go back and I'm using the brush sort of at a 45 degree angle and I'm starting to fill that in a little bit and then I'll connect that to the tail of my brow and then I'm going to take the spoolie side and I'm going to start just brushing the product through. You can see that really brushes that product, but what I like to do is I like to apply it, then use the spoolie to brush the product through, and then I'll go back in to just define my arch one last time. And then lastly, I like to just define the bottom of my brow right here. And then I'll start just flicking it up a little bit because I do have a little bit of sparseness towards the front of the brow. And then you could use the little angled pointy side to really just add little brow hairs in. And then I'll go back into the spoolie and this part I don't know why I love doing towards the front because I feel like you can really see that product being brushed up. 
And then I'm going to lightly just shape that brow. And then lastly, I don't always do this, but for the sake of the video, I'll show you. If I want to clean up the edges of my brow, if I messed up a little bit or my hand was a little shaky and I went all over the place, I'm taking a Makeup Forever straight 262 brush and I'm going to just pick up a little bit of my foundation. I know a lot of people like to use concealer, but I actually like to use my foundation because my concealer that I own is a couple of shades lighter because I like to highlight with it. So my foundation is the exact same color as my foundation obviously so I like to just take the brush and then I'll just start cleaning up the edges this really gives your brow a really nice defined look and it's just really gonna clean everything up and make your arch especially because I like to do this up here the most make your arch just look really really sharp and defined and then lastly I'll just go in with the spoolie again because sometimes when you apply that concealer or that foundation it can make it look a little bit too sharp, so I'll just go over the top and towards the edges of the brow and just feather that in. And that's my brow done. So this is my brows done. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I actually put on makeup and I did film this for you guys. It's already up on my channel, so go check that video out. I'll link it down below. And... Oh, I don't know what I just dropped. <laughs> That's it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. That'll be right here as well as down in the description box. And I think that should be it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.